World-renowned pianist Seymour Bernstein returned to Korea this past weekend for a very special performance. Not only is the 89-year-old a now-retired but still outstanding pianist, he's a Korean war veteran. And it's not just a performance he's come to deliver. Bernstein came back to the land he calls his second home to play for his fellow comrades who fought side by side with him 66 years ago, both who survived and who didn't. A very special concert. Our news feature tonight with E. G. Wan. American pianist Seymour Bernstein fought on the front lines in the Korean War, but he was armed with sheet music instead of a gun. During the conflict, he and a number of his fellow soldiers used their talents to give classical music concerts, offering their comrades some moments of solace and hope. More than six decades later, he is back in Korea to play again for his fellow veterans of the conflict. Thank you for welcoming me to back to Korea. Korea is like my second home because this is my fifth visit to Korea. Bernstein came back to Korea at the invitation of the Ministry of Patriots and Veterans Affairs, which organized a 10-day program for 70 war veterans and their families as a thank you for their service on the occasion of the 66th anniversary of the Korean War. Uh, when I came in here, and I saw the beginning of the ceremony. Uh, very deep emotions stirred within me, and I started to cry. And I was very surprised that still, after all these years, the Korean experience of the war is still within me and moves me very deeply. Bernstein and fellow veterans have been longing to visit those who fell in war to pay tribute to commemorate their names and memories. They're like old friends, warm, gracious, helpful, and it's, a, it's an overpowering experience for me, to tell you the truth. I broke down, you know, in, in grief. But it's, as I said before, it's a contrasting thing because that suffering that we all went through, look at, look at what has come from it. Look at your country. Look at your people. So beautiful, civilized, culture-minded. The Minister of Veterans Affairs offered his appreciation on behalf of the country, and the veterans were presented with peace medals. Finally, Bernstein slowly and solemnly takes the stage. Bernstein finishes his final note and rises to face the audience. In the audience are fellow war veterans who carry the same painful memory that he's carried for over half a century, their friends and family. Koreans appreciate the UN Veteran Service for this nation. It was fantastic. I, more than I believed it could be. It was super. I remember this this guy was in our company, and he was laying pipeline. We discovered he was a professional piano player, and they took him out and they put him where he belonged, entertaining the troops. It was great. Though they did not serve with Bernstein, many of the veterans on the tour had heard of him and his music. And for many of them, this concert is a moving tribute to those in uniform. Well, it just really touched my heart because it was such a performance that was for these veterans who came all this way over here. And uh, it was uh, just really moving to hear that uh, piece of music that he played so beautifully. As a 10-day program comes to an end, comrades and friends hug each other and share their last goodbyes as new memories of Korea join the more difficult remembrances of the past. Among them is Bernstein waving his farewell one more time to the land he fought for, to the land he is proud to have seen develop, to the country that became Korea, to the Korea he calls his second home. Lee Ji-won, 
Arirang News.